72 career strikeouts are right there, but leads the Big 12 in strikeouts this year with 60. Last couple of starts, last start against Tech, went five innings, gave up five earned runs. He's a strikeout guy, but he's very polished, and like we talked about being the top prospect in the draft coming up. Jordan Wick, starter command means he can command all of his pitches. He's got four fastball sliders. Curveball and that plus plus change up and really repeats his delivery and the must is repeating your delivery. Everything looks the same and tough to pick up. But the other thing that surprises you, he's got a little pop too at times, 92, 93 miles an hour. Yeah, you can get the velocity up there. I imagine tonight we'll see some good velocity early. First pitch. Tanner's in the lineup for Texas. We'll take that change up away from Wicks. Don't throw too many lefty lefty change ups, but he has a good slider and uses that as his off speed. He's been pretty consistent of reaching base here as of late. This ball on the ground going to be a difficult play. Got to get rid of it in a hurry and gets the out. Good one. Fantastic. And his freshman campaign to this point. This is downstairs. That might have been. Good. The one, two. Right back at the box. Knocked down. Not going to get an out. Daly with an infield knock. Incredible that he got his glove around and knocked that ball down. Could have been a tough play for your middle infield. You see Wicks just kind of throw his arm glove back around trying to get it and almost went in the glove. Hit off his wrist. Couldn't pick it up, though. That situation right there, you're looking everywhere where he should have looked is to his catcher. His catcher is going to tell him where the ball is. He's got a base hit and 19 of the last 22 to go with that as Zubia steps in. Junior from. Missed inside. Change up, fouled off. I finally figured out how to get Cecil Fielder out by doing that. One, two. Fouled off right side out of play. Daly has seen his move a couple of times and his delivery to the plate. Leaning a little bit. Not running. Now he is, this ball. Off of the two and two to Zubia. Ripped up the middle. And this ball game is tied. Very similar to the one of the midweek hits for Zach right there. That change up down. Kind of cut in. Zach stayed with it, barrels it up. Mitchell Daly scores easily. Had a lot to do with that. Cost Wicks a run right there. Ardwan steps in, Silas. A lot of at-bats, 270 average. To me, doesn't tell the whole story of Silas. He's been moved into this four position. He's done a really nice job. Set. Fastball, inner half. Yep pitcher and to lefties he's a fastball slider pitcher. Downstairs as a catcher if I had the opportunity to call a game I would force him to show maybe first pitch a curveball a breaking ball to a right handed hitter. Well, you have to because then you go up there sitting on you only have two options on the ground. This could be two good turn six four three and a beauty. Longhorns tie it up. We go to the flies on the year. Swing and a miss for strike one. Spikes a breaking ball. Quick start this season has gone into the sixth inning at least all but the last start against Tech. This ball ripped into right center. All the way to the wall. And 
Gam with a leadoff double. Ball up that he can handle right here. Right out over the plate. Gam right on. Handles that one to right center. Ninth double of the year for Williams. Right here, he was thinking three. 70 to left. Doing it all. Listen to, listen to this number. That's getting it done. You're just, you're just seeing beach balls coming up there. That's getting it done. Just missed that offering from Wicks. The 0 2 inside. The one, two. Threw it by him upstairs with the fastball and a big out for Wicks. 94 up top right here. Almost unhittable. Doug Hoda will step in. Doug? Bernie High School. Second season. Back to back. One of the better ones he's throwing. The other ones I had a blue, a light blue one that I had to wear in Philly, that road uniform. It wasn't gray, it was light blue. A few teams did that back then, didn't they? Mm hmm. One, two. Lays off a changeup, and the count evens at two and two. I do like the old man. Two and two. $8. To right, hit pretty well. Keeps some carry to it. Wild pitch. Tries to bunt his way on and pulls it foul. Good idea there. The 0 1. This ball hit pretty well to center. Bind. This could be an inside to Parker. Here goes Antico. He's on his horse. He rounds. They're getting, is they going to send him? He's coming to the plate. Here comes the relay to the plate. Get to him momentarily as 2 0 5. Swing and a miss. Wicks out for his third inning of work. Carinci gets a piece of it. Held on to, comes up. Second baseball is what we have tonight. Yeah, when you guys were mentioning uh, all the scouts being there, you'd pan across three of them, and I, rec I was watching with my wife, and I, I identified all three of them. I could tell you all their names and where they live. One of them's playing with the same camera I have. Uh, yep, there's one of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, when you see these sort of matchups, uh, you know, you look at the Big 12, say these are the top prospects. When do they match up? Let's send our best guys out. You know, and, and, and when you, you look at that, it sort of didn't live up to it earlier. We've had some runs early in the game, but both these guys have settled in. Do you think at this point that their stock can go up and down? Or are they pretty much in this slotted area? Uh, Matt has been pretty consistent. Uh, he's probably, uh, all of new rankings coming out next week, I'd say he's somewhere in that 8 to 15 range. And I think, you know, short of any injury, the way he's performing, I think he'll probably land somewhere around there. Uh, Wicks, uh, after his first couple starts of the season, uh, he was up to 95, 96 out in Arizona. And there was some thought that he would break into the top 15. He's been a little more like 90, 92. Breaking ball's been below average to average, depending on the outing. And so he's settling down into that like 15 to 25 overall area. As, since the last time we talked to you, have, have there been any new names? Has anyone jumped off the charts since we've talked last? The big story has been the college bats not being that great. Uh, Matt McLean at UCLA was seen as the top one, and he, he was sort of pegged for the top five along with Flores Jeff Fabian, who I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to him, but he's been hilariously yes. bad uh, contact-wise, uh, almost historically bad, even worse than he actually is. So I kind of <laughs> wonder where he'll land, but he's probably down in the 30s right now. 
Matt McLean has now been passed by both Henry Davis at Louisville catcher uh, and Sal Freelich, center fielder for Boston College, are now seeing the top two college bats. Okay. Uh, you know, it, we didn't get a quick inning, so it was a foul ball. We get a chance to ask you another one. I, I think another thing, and I know you keep up with this too, uh, do you think the early uh, – you got to get your stuff in early for designated sites because of COVID with college baseball. Is that going to change the outlook or what teams you think may get in and out? I just think this is an interesting opportunity because your your bids have to be in by the 12th of April and they will announce on May 10th. I mean, we'll still be in yeah. middle conference play across the country. I would imagine it's going to be teams that started hot, uh, teams that you know have some money in facilities and are kind of perennial powers. I would imagine it's going to kind of skew in that direction even more than usual. This ball hit on the ground, and this could do it. That dang, every time we get you to come on, golly, we have a quick. You're thrown out of a game, whether it's before the game or it can be after the game. Jay Brent Cox one time got thrown out when the game was over and had to sit out the next day. So here are the breaking ball. Nips the outside corner, and quickly Zubia. A huge gap down the left field line and inside corner for the strikeout. A gentleman's corner right there for Wicks. She's set up in. Perfect pitch by Wicks and got the call. Playing in left center. Yeah, they, they, they really do what the right handed hitters played for. Hit the other way. Breaking ball. Did he go? He did not. Outside. Good change up. 2-2. Two -two. Then comes back with a good fastball upstairs. Fourth strike out of the game. For Wicks. Well, then that's when you start to use that change up, speed the bat up, and then it's tough to catch up with the heater when it's 93 94. Both strikeouts. First pit bad California. He's a junior. This ball ripped down the left field line. This will get into the corner for extra bases. Bobbled. Staley stays at second base with a two-out double. It's the one pitch. The last few starts has been getting Wicks in trouble. Is that fastball up behind in the count? Murphy does a good job. Talked about the left fielder playing off the line. That was going to be an easy double. But it's 13 for his last 19. If he can add on here for Texas. Outside corner for a strike. Okay. Upstairs. You can see, in a sense, it is pretty free and easy. You know, he's got to still be better with his locations at times. Right. But it, it's free out of his hands, and then he's got that good change like that to go with it. Looks, I mean, it's in and out. He's, he's shown that in this inning. Set for his one-two delivery. Upstairs. 60th pitch of the ball game for the Wildcat left-hander coming. This is again up. Wouldn't be surprised to see that change up right here, three, two. Got the base open. Yeah. First three ball count of the night for the Wildcat left-hander. Change up misses outside, ball four. Even with two outs. Even with two outs. That's 
Notice that all night. First pitch in there for a strike. Downstairs in the count evens. Inside. And it's. Sometimes it's hard to get that third out of an inning. Well, you, know, you got two strikeouts. So you, you're thinking, hey, I'm feeling it right now. I'm going to try to strike out the side, leave the fastball out over the plate, give up a double, and then Melinda's had a good at bat on Cam Williams earlier in the game, but there was one out. Now with two outs, I don't think Staley's going anywhere. It's a foul. You can see it bat alive. off again good at bat for Doug try to get into the bullpen Kamar Rocker went five last night got out of the game and Georgia ended up winning 14 to two line drive to left here comes a play to the plate Texas with a three to one lead two out RBIs two strikeouts in the inning since two hits and a walk Locations off another one up. But they able to handle it, get it out into left field. Staley scores. Texas now up three to one. Really good at bat by Duck. But he did drive in a run with that triple. His 20th of the year. This is lined right at the shortstop, and that ends the inning. But not before tech all week. How have they done, Zeke? Well, I mean, I think we've seen a lot of electricity in this ball game. Starting pitchers have thrown the ball well. I mean, 73 pitches for Ty Madden, a couple of walks, a couple of strikeouts. Jordan Wicks starting his fifth inning of work, six hits, just the one walk, three earned runs, lift the ball up a couple of times. I think they're, I mean, this is what Friday night's all about. There's 10 total hits in the game, but only four runs. Both starting pitchers holding their own at this point. Yeah, no crooked numbers for either team. Texas has scored in three out of four at bats in the ball game. If you're just tuning in. Six players have been ejected, not only at bat in the ball game. Struck out his first time up. First pitch ripped to left by Goodwin. Campbell, a leadoff single. That ball was. Rocket. He continues to impress as well. Having to come in this game on emergency and just gets the change up, goes down and gets this one. He I mean, barreled that up. Oh, good one. He steps in. Still might seem attempt to bunt on his own here. I concur. Popped it up. Oh. Inside it right there, fouled it off. Back to the. Back up the middle, off of Wicks. 1 4 3 on the put out for the second out of the inning. Can't hit it any harder than Lance did right there. I think it's by. Or actually, if it doesn't hit Wicks, it gets up the middle. Right off the back. Struck out. Texas has been good with two outs. Fastball misses outside. Zuby ahead now. Zuby in this at bat. Change up. In scoring position. On the ground. Bobble, miscue, Texas with a four to one lead. Well, came up a little bit on Goodwin right there. Just going to try to field it and throw back across his body. Longhorns out there, one in the first, one in the second, didn't score in the third, one in the fourth, and now one in the fifth. 
build a 4-1 lead now. Downstairs for ball one. Boy, regardless how you get them, good offensive team. For a pitcher, for a defense, when you think you can get out of the inning, Texas has been really good with two outs scoring runs, and that, that just kind of takes the air out of you sometimes as a defending team. Yeah, and, and this is a good time to take to go out and visit with a pitcher because he, Wicks felt like he made a pitch and he got out of the inning. It was a ground ball. We, you yeah. should have been out of the inning. Just ball came up on Goodwin out there. I don't know if he'd have got sneaky wheels anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, anyway. I guarantee you that Zuby was hustling down the line. Arduan will step back in. Ofer will be around when we get to the eighth. Downstairs again. Still in this ball game. He went five innings last time against Texas Tech. Looking to get through the fifth now. Good hitter's pitch coming. Hard one takes it. And it's Excellent pitch there. Not going to do a lot with that. Now to start an at bat. I mean, he just hasn't fallen behind a lot of folks. Just the one walk. Yeah. Last inning, costing. Fouled off. And do it again at two and two. Downstairs and the count goes full. They'll play behind Zurbia. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming. 86th of the night. Foul back. 3-2 again. Rip down the third baseline, just foul. I think, I think he got just about everyone's dears. He does. Three two again. Ripped into the gap of left center. Zuby on his way to third. Runners at first and third here with two outs. Really solid at bat. Hard one. Saw a lot of pitches. That's a 3 2 changeup. Barreled it up. Nine pitch at bat right there. To center, playable. Little Jim under. Puts it away. Five complete here from UFCU Dishfog Field. You don't have your best stuff, you battle. Yeah, I guess the team that's in the top ten in America and hitting the ball out of the ballpark. We've already seen one of them leave the park tonight. Yeah. 45 now. Ivan steps in. He's 0 for 1. He's been hot as a pistol, as we've mentioned. 92nd pitch for Wicks. Foul back. And it's 1 and 2. We were talking to some of the guys and scouts that are in town, the people we know, and you and I both were. Wiping our brow. But we got a reason for that. What's that? We're, we're <laughs> old and fat. <laughs> uh, I hear you, partner. <laughs> two, two. I didn't just throw you under the bus. I joined you on that one. Outs uh, five ground balls. Cued right off the end of the bat. Well, you know, this is their eighth start for each one of them. So they've been averaging more than seven or eight strikeouts per game. Wicks has been averaging, I guess, if you total it up through nine innings, because he's only gone six, seven innings. It said it was 12.3. He got it four, four to Rose on. Ball absolutely mashed again by Melendez. His fourth in four games. And Texas with a 5-2 lead now. It 
see Hudos here. Where's my head bump? Again, Zonk. Change up, stayed right out over the plate. Good job by Melendez. He gave it a different kind of bat flip right there. The left hand, take that. Another one on the berm. Look at there. Wow. Didn't think you would set up a tent next to the tennis courts and get a base. Nico. Oh, back. Down the right field line. Is that fair or foul? Ooh. Upstairs. Fouled away. But the other thing is when you look at the board offensively for Texas. Five of the six innings. Downstairs. Got him to go for the strikeout. The collision at the plate that led to the ejection of six players. This ball hit well to left. Off of the wall. Second extra base hit of the night for Mike Antico. He's taken three really good swings off Jordan Wicks tonight. Triple. First at bat, like you said, lined out really hard to short last at bat. A double right. Over the top of that one and quickly it's 0-2. He's got a got him with a good breaking ball and a big strikeout, six of the game for Wicks. So two gone. Here in the sixth. Boy, that's a big run, 90 feet away for Texas. Lefty, lefty matchup here. Nice job of keeping that in front. The 1 0. Downstairs as well. He negated the lefty lefty matchup by being 2 0. 2019, he threw 129 career high against Texas. Outside corner for a strike in this build. Good swing, fouled it straight back. Did Kennedy. He's 0 for 3 as he steps in. Slider here. I think, yeah, I think you stay away from him. Off speed. Got him to roll over. Got him to roll over it. And that ends the inning and the threat for Texas. But they do get on the board with another tremendous blast by Melendez. Went down and got that one. Another one on the berm, four in a row, four games in a row. Friday. Getting five runs, but just one in those innings. Six innings, 113, a season.